my first time like answering back to the anxiety. Do you know what I mean? Instead of like praying from like a defeated place, Mm -hmm. I prayed from a place of like power and authority. Yes. And said like, I'm gonna make it. I had a major breakthrough and I wanna share this grace because it was unbelievable. What is that? I was um, on my way to Virginia like a week and a half ago. Yeah. And I was meant to have a connection in Chicago. And we're just circling. We can't get into Chicago. We're okay. circling for like okay. 30 minutes. I've never experienced this in my life. And then they're like, well, folks, there are some storm cells over Chicago and we can't land. So we're going to send you up to Milwaukee. And I was like, what? Why? Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? So then we land in Milwaukee. Then we sit on the tarmac for two hours. We were already like an hour delayed getting out. And I have a connection that I need to make to go to this little regional airport in Virginia. And I'm like, what am I going to do if I miss this connection? I'm texting local Chicago people. I might have to stay there. Yeah. I'm texting uh, Milwaukee people. I might have to stay there. Anyway, just a lot of waiting, a lot of wondering, a lot of waiting. We make it back to Chicago. They send us back. Okay. I'm sorry, this is a long story. This is a travel log, but I'm. this is my first time talking about it. You know what I mean? Here we go. Buckle up. And when it's time to get off the plane, as we're landing, I have 30 minutes to make my connection. Land. I now have 20 minutes. Just not getting a gate. 15 minutes. I'm like, how am I going to make it to this other gate and get on this other plane? And if you know, you know, I have like some PTSD of missing flights and gates being closed in my face by like one minute. So I'm, I'm pretty anxious at this point. And I'm standing in the aisle. I said to the Lord, am I going to make this flight? Like, is there any chance? And he said to me, run. And I was like, okay, so there's hope. Like, I can make this flight, you know? So I get my bag, but I'm way in the back. And I'm not able to get up front. And everyone's anxious. Everyone's trying to make a connection or whatever, rework their plans. And I'm, like, feeling very worked up. And it's, like, showing in my body. And I'm like... <sighs> I'm like, this is ridiculous. Why am I acting like this? Because I had just read this book that talked about the spiritual life as a football game. Stay with me on this. The spiritual life as a football game. And what we get wrong about life is that we think we're on defense, but actually we're on offense. Like God has already won the victory and we have the ball. As Christians, we are moving the ball down the field. We are gaining back territory from the enemy. But we've got it all mixed up. We're looking at the enemy like he has the ball. And we're trying to figure out what are we going to do? How are we going to, what are his plans? How, we're trying to pray against all these things instead of just like leaning back and saying, no, like actually I have the ball. God has the victory. Anything is possible. Like God and Satan are not equal. They're not like battling it out. So I caught myself spiraling. And I said to myself, no, Lord, I declare in Jesus' name that I'm going to make this connection. And you're going to part the sea of people like you did the Red Sea. And I'm going to make it to my gate. And I did. And here's the thing. My whole body relaxed. Like all this like confidence rose up in me. And it was my first time like answering back to the anxiety. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Instead of like praying from like a defeated place, Mm -hmm. I prayed from a place of like power and authority. Yes. And said like, I'm going to make it. God can do anything, you know? In fact, God specializes in the impossible. So instead of reading that whole situation as like spiritual warfare, and even I had texted someone and she's like, oh, you know, it's going to be a good retreat because like the enemy's really mad that you're coming. And I'm like, who cares? Who cares what the enemy is doing? Like I have the ball. God has the victory. And it changed everything for me interiorly to have that disposition. It changed everything exteriorly. And I did run through the airport, but it was fun. Instead of like, crying, sweating, begging God. It was like an adventure. And I was like the difference between misfortune, spiritual warfare, like contending for things and adventure with God is literally just my posture. Mm -hmm. It's just my disposition. Anyway, that was a big win for me. It's beautiful. It was a long story, but. Worth it. It was so cool. It was like a cool training opportunity, you know? So cool. Yeah. I've been reading this book. 
It's unbelievable. I knew I was going to talk about it. I didn't plan to talk about it, but I knew it was going to come up. This book. Is this the, where the football story is? It's not. It's not. Different book. Different book. Listen, Context for Holiness is unreal. Look at it. It's like she's my face. But here's the thing that set me free about this book. I've been praying for years that like my strong emotions and my like heightened sensitivity, my like tenderness, that God would like overcome that, Mm -hmm. that I would overcome that. Mm -hmm. And then I could be virtuous. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I saw my intensity and my my sensitivity as uh, an obstacle. Yeah, this book uses this language all the time that actually I can make a choice in the face of powerful emotions to do good, to like, it's that cheesy quote about like, have you heard that quote about fear? No, not that one. Not that one. I think it's like John Wayne or something. It's not cheesy. I'm just joking. (laughs) I mean. Go ahead. (laughs) Something about like fear what courage isn't not being afraid. Courage is like saddling up anyway. Something like that's paraphrased. Yeah. But I didn't ever get that. You know what I mean? I kept like begging God to change my personality. Mm. And then I started to realize my sensitivity and my personality are actually like a profound gift. And that's how I know God. That's how I love deeply. So I don't want him to tamp that down. But yeah, there there is... There are um, weaknesses to that personality, but I can make a choice. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with us. We love praying with you and we want to do that some more. So hit the subscribe button, like this video, and turn on your notifications bell. Bing!